Oh, hello everybody. This is our second seven days to die video. I would love it if you guys came and joined me on my server. It is pretty lame name. It's listed as please join me. Um I am a brand new YouTuber, so please excuse any mishaps or crappy videos. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I would really love it if you would join me. And if you would please subscribe to my channel that'd be awesome oh here we go let's go gather some wood so we can work on our base a little bit more now the other day when we played there were I don't even know how many zombies I just kinda walked up over top of the hill over there and then just came walking up and over through here and they spread out. If anybody can tell me what on earth was up with that, I would greatly appreciate it. Let's go gather some wood. And some stone, apparently. We, last time, we did some stuff down in the town. We took apart a car and got enough metal pipes and supplies to put in a furnace in our base. So today we're going to be gathering wood to work on our second floor and to get some more wood into our furnace. We will be checking out some stuff nearby. We will not be going down to the town today. I'll hopefully be making this video nice and short. Alright. And we begin gathering. <laughs> we will also be going and gathering up some clay. We'll hopefully be able to get enough supplies to make our anvil. And maybe start forging up some forged iron for better tools because the stone axe sucks. <laughs> la, la, la. Unfortunately, I probably will not be cutting out most of the gathering. I'll be doing a few cuts probably like cut down six or seven of these, plant them, and then cut. So, just to do a bunch of work, but have this video nice. Not boringly long is my hopes. And for some reason we just lagged. What the heck? You may be able to hear the air conditioner running in the background. Please ignore it. My computer gets retardedly hot. I'm working on putting together the excess money to get better equipment, but it is not looking like it's going to be anytime soon. Why I just repaired that. I have like better tools. Oh, 
our other goal is to be gathering enough wood and metal to also and equipment to hopefully get the space good enough to survive through day seven. And yes, again, this is a brand new server, so we're still only on day two. So for brand new players, please, please come and join me. Alright, welcome back. So, while we were gone, I gathered a bunch of iron, some clay, and some wood. So we're going to get this iron and clay into our furnace here. Now we're going to patiently wait until we have an anvil, so we can do an anvil, which is Am I going insane or something? Anvils are 200 iron and 20 clay. So we're good on clay. We're just waiting for our iron. And then once we get this anvil going, we'll get the uh, forged iron going. So we can get some iron tools inside of these wooden stone tools. <laughs> For now, while we wait, let's work on our base. After the first floor, I normally really don't upgrade any other floors past this. Um, I personally like the looks of just the wood. So, that's me. Whatever you guys to choose to do is what you choose to do. I don't judge. <laughs> so. Let's get ourselves a second uh, torch here so we can see what we're doing upstairs. Now as you guys may remember from my last video, I was killed by a wolf. I couldn't see. So yeah, that kind of happened. Uh, but we managed to get our bag with our bow and our arrow, and we killed that wolf right back. <laughs> I know I made a torch. There it is. Make that spot to be right there. I'm not really one to do fancy big bases. I primarily do what works and that's efficient. And that doesn't cost me a ton of resources. However, upon request, I am able to make a nice big fancy base. I just prefer not to. But if I get enough requests, requests, asking me to make my big my base bigger or add certain things to it I will uh. I really do listen 
to what you guys ah shit well that sucked shit um yeah shit Let's open and use this other torch for the third part, but okay that wasn't cool at all. What the hell? <laughs> we'll just put that there. <laughs> I'll probably wind up doing a table on this floor with a fireplace in the middle. Because apparently the torches don't want to stay on the walls. It was kind of ridiculous. I can't believe it just fell and broke. It's like the game's mocking me. I know I need more than 10, but I do sections of 10 when I craft stuff like this. Hopefully over time my videos will get better. Um, I really do hope you guys like the videos. Please help support me. Um, your opinions are very welcome. Very welcome. very useful and it's officially nighttime We'll be building a couple wooden hatches to go. I'll do one right now, actually. Three ladders. Hatches are not the best. They do help keep the zombies at bay, at least momentarily. Which sometimes a moment is all you need.
see anything. That's normally not a good thing. <laughs> nope, on downstairs. Oh, I'm thirsty. <laughs> Well, for now, I can only do 20. <sighs> so, for axes, I think I'll just continue using my wooden and stone object. And I'll make a iron pick axe for the gathering. iron and stuff. I know. And I'm hungry. Let's eat our charred meat. Drink up some of our water. We have a can of pears. Let's eat this. We have blueberries, which we're going to turn into blueberry seeds. So we can get more than this. We're going to actually do that now, so we're not tempted to eat them. There. Now we just patiently wait. Let's turn this off for the time being. It's long enough so we can take our anvil. Cut this craft up. And I'll see you guys at dawn. Alright. Looks like it's starting to get light out. So, let's go check our furnace. See how that's doing. See if we uh, finished all the iron, which we did. Let's make our pickaxe. That's weapons. There we are. Pickaxe. Alright. Craft up this. Let's go gather ourselves some more iron. So we can get enough for an axe. This is going to be a minute. While we wait. We need something for light. We'll leave our good, better flashlight here. Though it's starting to get light out, it is light enough for me to see. So I guess we really don't need the flashlight. However, even though it's light out, zombies are still in their night mode. So you gotta be careful. Let's go see what we can find at the camp today. Um... On this server, the loot does not respawn until day five. Yeah. Loot does not respawn until day five. 
However, we're just here to see if there's any zombies walking around. Bash some zombie skulls in, maybe. Which there isn't. I would patiently wait. We're gonna need more wood. So let's smack a couple little bushes. I have a ton of seeds inside. Let's grab them, run around, plant up some trees so they grow in nice and close. Because right now it's slight walk in all directions. Other than right there for wood. I do have baby trees kind of planted everywhere. They're just taking their sweet old time with growing. There is a log a rock back there. I gathered that some time ago. Finally, let's gather ourselves some iron. When I first got this game, uh, sometime early last year, I went to play it for the first time online, day 543. <laughs> that was the worst experience I have ever had. So, definitely when you go to join servers, look at what day it is on the server. Don't be like me. That was just a horrible experience. For quite a while, it did ruin the game for me. But. Here I am now. On my own server. That I'm leading. It's labeled, please join me. Is what it's labeled. And, seriously. Please, join me. It's kind of boring playing all along. And it encourages cheating to play alone. After a while, you get really bored really fast. So you wind up using some cheating to make your base nice and big and fancy. I have another base that I've done on a private server. That I'll show you guys that I guess I used cheating on it to make it. But I was just doing it for fun and entertainment. So, I, with that base, I built it on top of a mountain. I kind of did like stairways going down. I have a mine that I made. I'm working on making bigger when I'm playing alone. And I have a bridge going from my base to town. I have a whole bunch of different dirt set up and the electrical stuff. Tell you what, that that stuff took me forever to figure out how to set up. 
There's a zombie coming. I can hear him. There it is. There it is. Let's bash your skull. There we go. Wow, my Santa mode, like, sucks. Let's see what you guys. Come on, nothing. Oh. Oh, anyways, let's get the siren into our furnace. So we can get more tools. I'm not a huge fan of the new leveling system setup they have going. It's rather annoying. I mean, sure, originally it, yes, took forever to get to a point that with making tools and weapons, they were higher quality. But, doing it like this, no matter how many times you make it, it doesn't improve. You actually now have to level up and then go into your leveling system here and actually select and level it up like that. It is very annoying and it's kind of a pain. Well, anyways. Where's our mining tools? As soon as we can, we're going to get the workbench perk. So we can get that up. And we can really start moving on from there. This one. We're not quite here yet. We need tool smithing level two. There it is. Mining tools. Yeah, that's about it. I'm out of points. <laughs> oh well. And as soon as we have enough, we'll make our grill. There we go. Um, once we get our grill made, then I'll be ending this video. We'll go out for now and gather more wood so we can get more traps set up so we're one step closer to surviving day seven. Uh, what I normally do is I actually find a good place, a good house. It's already in the game. And make that into my base. That's normally one of the best bets. I look for one that already has a furnace in it. So I can focus my energy on gathering as much wood as possible to make the traps to go around the exterior of the base. 
which for once it gets to day seven, you can really survive. I especially like the houses that are have a second door, second story door. So I make a ledge going out off the other little ledge, and then like two blocks away from it, I make a pillar with a ladder, and I just take out. I just leave it so there's two wooden frames I can just pick up. Or once you build that little tower thing, you can just jump from the tower to the house. And zombies cannot get in because they cannot jump like that. At least the ones I've encountered. I'm not sure what kind of luck everybody else has had, but I've had reasonably good luck with dealing with them. So. Yeah. Hopefully we can level up again here soon so we can when we start really getting better equipment. Because it, it is really annoying with the weapons and stuff with this. I mean, back in the day there were ways to get around it. Yes, with the original thing to go from shitty tools to really good tools. And that is just get enough supplies to make a boatload of the stone axes. And that was how I used to go from the horrible tools to the good tools. But apparently they caught on to people doing this and they were like, um, no more of this. And added this system. Which I hate. I really do hate the, the leveling setup they got. It is absolutely terrible. Let's boil us up some eggs. Yeah. Looks like I'm, I am going to need to make a run for water again. Which is annoying. We'll put these in our furnace so we can make some glass bottles. I'm a very impatient person, so when it comes to waiting for this kind of stuff, it drives me insane. Uh, as soon as we can, we will be making a blunderbuss, although it's not the best weapon. It works. It really does work. We're gonna need to make a water run. And yeah, if you take broken glass and you put it in your furnace in here, you will be eventually able to make empty glass jars, which are right here. Takes ten. 
glass, one clay for them. And voila. So, if you think, if you think glass is completely useless, you're wrong. Um, windows are quite useless. That much is for certain. But when you go to boil eggs, it destroys your glass. Your jar. So, you kind of need to get new jars or make them. Um, although vegetable stew and the meat stew are the best to re-bring up your wellness, eggs and other stuff like those do a reasonable job. Um, I have horrible luck with hunting. I've gotten my butt kicked by a couple boars and other animals like that. Um, I have occasionally a pretty tough time finding the deer. So, yeah. I'm not so good at that part. Let's go get ourselves some wood. Ah, uh, that's a zombie dog. No, go, go to hell. Fucking Jesus. I hate these things. Of course, they hate me in return. I've yet to discover a really reasonable <laughs> use for that, the rotten meat, rotten flesh. To me, it's completely useless. If any of you know of a good use for it, please <laughs> let me know. Because I get a ton of it. Alright, let's make some more punchy sticks. Wow, this seems like it's taking forever. Holy damn. Um, to do decent, I've discovered, at least personally, 
on day seven. You should have your base surrounded going seven, not seven layers, four layers out with the punji six. If you're decent at fighting the zombies, I two or whatever would be plenty. Uh, I am okay at fighting zombies alone, not when there's a ton of them. We're gonna have to apparently go down to town. See if we can find some more glass jars and just glass in general. But I don't I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that this video. We'll see. If you guys want to see certain things done in future videos please let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to make sure it gets done um, it may take more than one video for me to do some stuff so and it may take a while for some videos to come out. At least for the time being. Where I'm currently in some uh, pretty financial straits right now. I will be starting up a pledge page here soon. I actually have it started. I just have to figure out how to do certain things with it. Wow, that is ridiculously loud. Yes, there are airdrops every single day in this. I'd love it if you guys joined me in my server. It's, it would make things a lot more fun. I'll get more punji sticks set up around the base. And I'll get my blueberry patch started. And then we'll call it a video. Anyways, if you guys uh, join my server, I tend to do that a retard, a ridiculous amount. So, hey, if you find my base and my tour is open, well, I can almost guarantee I'll be out of stuff. Blueberry patch started. Yay. I have a zombie coming up behind me, don't I? Oh, 
Oh wow, screamer. Hmm. Yeah, it is at about that time, isn't it? The screamers start hunting me out. <laughs> They are my worst enemy in this game. They scare me so bad sometimes. <laughs> 